The Minister of Health and Child Care has noted with concern the misleading information on social and print media over the supply of COVID-19 consumables by a company called Drux, especially on the uh, cost of the consumables that they are supplying. I have to initially indicate that drugs has not been paid, not even a single cent, you know, for the items under consideration. Those items are not paid for by this ministry or the Ministry of Finance, as was alluded in the social media platforms. And I want to also say there were some negotiations between drugs and the ministry, you know, in as far as the prices were concerned. The ministry has got a range of prices which they work on, and the drugs representative had a meeting with our officials and they had to reduce the prices. And this was indicated you know, in uh, our tables, which we have publicized quite clearly. And this is contra to the table which was published in the letter from the Permanent Secretary of Finance. That was just an initial table. However, there was some negotiations and there was a market reduction in the uh, prices, you know, from the original costs to the uh, costs which were eventually arrived at between the ministry and the company drugs. So a due diligence on the prices uh, was done. The prices <coughs> of the factory and at the, the cost of the freight charges were taken into consideration. The insurance and customs clearances were also taken into consideration in the due diligence in an effort to reduce the prices from what they were, as indicated in that initial correspondence by the permanent secretary to our then former permanent secretary. In addition, uh, the prices had gone up uh, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, high demand, and you'll find that most airlines had also been grounded. You know, so drugs argued you know, that they had their prices at that higher level because of the high costs of flying the products in, which were required urgently in Zimbabwe. And as such, you'll find that most airlines you know, are charging a range of about US $18 to $25 you know, per, per kilogram, which is quite extensive. We also noted that um, their prices were guided by the Minister of Health and Child Care's initial guide you know, for COVID-19 responses. The Secretary for Health had published a guide on the prices you know, for COVID-19 products, and this is what drugs uh, indicated that they had also utilized in coming up with those original prices. And during their initial quotation, you'll find that most companies had closed globally and if they were opened, they had skeleton staff, you know, to ensure that social distance were, were observed in line with the WHO recommendations on managing COVID-19. The demand for the products then became very high worldwide, and they still continue to be very high as the population is still required to, to wear masks and uh, use sanitizers frequently. So this spike, in demand led to a spike in the prices as well of anything that was COVID-related. 
In most countries, they also banned the exportation of any products that were COVID-19 related. The country had nowhere else to, to get uh, products and uh, speed was of essence, you know, to ensure availability of products, you know, to our population. However, in discussion and in reviewing, um, we are happy that, you know, uh, drugs managed to uh, reduce their prices. In actual fact, you know, they felt that, you know, uh, since they had already paid for the products, it was going to be at a loss for them. We are very happy now that there's been a fall, you know, in the prices, though not very significant, and as industries are opening and readjusting uh, the quantities to, to meet demand. So this has led to the products to be available, but still the issue of freight, you know, still continues to be very high indeed, since most airlines are still grounded. Uh, we want to also indicate that it is now our main policy that for any purchases of PPEs or whatever products, we are going directly to source. We are going to China, we are going to South Korea, where we are buying directly and at very competitive prices. So the ministry would like to uh, clearly indicate that the products which came from uh, drugs, you know, which were supplied by drugs, we are still owing them money. We haven't paid for them. Now that, you know, there was, you know, a consensus reached, you know, after the review of the cost of the products, being in line with the rest of the other companies, the Minister of Finance, you know, is going to be given an instruction to be able to meet the costs. You know, we've got the products already, you know, the products have arrived, you know, and they are being utilized by our institutions. So we are very grateful. So let's not run on the basis of misconceptions. Let's not continue on the basis of wrong information. You know, we are there to provide the correct information always. This is something which was done above board and all the procedures you know, have been followed. You know.